Hello, Internet. This is Geekish. My name is Jonathan, and welcome to Cloud Climber, a game for free on Steam from the same company, same studio guy who brought us my beautiful paper smile to Star Games, which means I am excited to play this. Now, I have to confess, this is actually my third attempt to get this recorded. Kept running into issues, technical and otherwise. But we're going to do it this time. We're going to get it from the beginning all the way to the end. Supposedly you can play it in one sitting. It looks cool. I like it. It's actually three-dimensional. I mean, granted, my paper, my beautiful paper smile is technically three-dimensional. Um, even if it does have this 2D papery aesthetic. Uh, but this looks to be fully three-dimensional. The lore, from what I understand as I check my settings, Frank it to Epic, uh, is that years ago water stopped raining and the world started evaporating. And we built these towers slash and or are building these towers to get the clouds of the water still is, I guess. So let's get into it, shall we? Let's dive in. Classic waking up in a bit. We're on the floor, I guess. Another day has arrived. You are correct, sir. I'd best get my water before going to work. <clears throat> I think it's the same key design as my beautiful paper smile. I mean, why not? Hold key, uh, yeah, chest key added. Yep, that is what I have. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go through and read all these. You can pause it and read them yourself. I'll, I'll skim them very quickly. Uh, hang on. Okay. Bucket of water added. Bucket of water. Yep, that is correct. Uh, actually, you know what? No, I should read all these because this is the kind of game. This is... Oh, hello. Construction on the last tower stopped weeks ago. I can only assume that the builders have met their fate by now. Somewhat I morbid. I believe it's but... safe enough for me to go and continue building higher yet from where they left off. I'll need to travel across the other two towers to get there, but I'm sure I can find a way. Two towers, you say? It's Mordor beneath us. Anyway, what do we got here? Bernie, the Great and Terrible. Diary, page 69. <laughs> nice. For months we've been building faster. I shouldn't make that joke. Bernie, the Great and... Bernie, the Great and Terrible. Diary, page 69. For months we've been building faster than ever, yet it seems as if every time we complete a new level, the clouds raise higher and higher. I could have sworn we were close to them decades ago, but we're still not done yet. I can only hope that we're getting close. Signed, Bernie, the Great and Terrible. So, yeah, I actually will read these because it's that kind of a game where the uh, story unfolds via notes and such, so. It would be doing it a disservice to just blanket sweep not read the notes. Hello? Nothing particularly interesting here. We got another note. Joey, diary, page 420. I've been building all day long, and Bernie the Great and Terrible has been sitting on his butt, acting as foreman. A.K.A. he doesn't do any work and drinks all of our water. I started locking my chest just in case he really does think he's above us all. What a jerk is Bernie. I mean, what do you expect? His name is Bernie the Great and Terrible. Up we go. On to the next floor. Actually, you know what this reminds me of? Looking at all these towers in the distance. There is a book. Technically, a, well, it's not technically a series yet. Because he hasn't written the second book yet. But it's a book by Jim Butcher called The Aeronauts Windlass. And the world of that book is that all the countries of the world and cities live in these towers like this that are scattered all over the world. Uh, now, they're not building them. I believe they were either built by or found by a nation civilization or something like that. Uh, but it's a really good series. I highly recommend it. If I remember to, I will put a link to the books like on Amazon or something uh, in the description below. But don't count on it. I might forget, but I'll try and remember. All right, now if I remember correctly, he said, I said, in a convenient note for myself, there was a key up here somewhere. Ah, uh, there we go. Yoink. Hey, look, it's Mjolnir. Can I take Mjolnir with me? No? Okay. I like the art style. It's very reminiscent of My Beautiful Paper Smile, which makes sense. It's the same, same guy. But we can fully enjoy it in a beautiful first-person perspective. Yoink. Fridge door, key was used. Oh, look at that. Look at that lovely smile. Look at that beautiful paper smile. Ha, <laughs> that's a reference. Although it looks like it's made out of bricks, actually. But still, my beautiful brick smile. 
Edna, phase 36. I can't believe today is the 100th anniversary of our tower. I know others have been building much longer, and now I wish our grandparents had taken this whole thing more seriously. 100 years ago, they decided things were getting dangerous, but why didn't they see the problem 200 years ago, or even longer? I'm still glad they started building, but I just wish we had seen this coming. So I'm assuming it stopped raining like a long it's been time ago. Quite then. some time since I was on the second tower. I haven't crossed this bridge since the builders became greedy and took the supplies that were meant to come to our tower. Oh, hammer. Just like all the other towers, its inhabitants quickly grew desperate and aggressive. Now it stands empty. Yep, ooh, look at these floppy ropes. Yoink. Kyle, page 45. I guess I knew this day would come, but I didn't expect it to come this soon. Yesterday we started extreme rationing of our water. Extreme rationing! A few days back we stopped getting supplies from the ground crew on our lift. We can only assume that they that they stolen the supplies. That's a free game. Give them a break. For themselves, ran out of water and food sources, or simply died. If we don't get into the clouds soon, we might need to see if we can get some from the one get some from one of the neighboring towers. Get some supplies, I assume. Well, you know, Kyle, maybe if you hadn't drinking all the Mountain Dew and eaten all the Doritos, you might still have some supplies. Did you think of that, Kyle? Do you think that maybe you're the problem? No, you don't. Did you, Kyle? You don't. What a jerk. Oh, we got a note. Bertha. Nobody's named Bertha. Can we just get that out of the way? There is there is nobody named Bertha, and very few people watch my videos, so I don't have to worry about angry comments. But my word, 9,800... Yeah, you re write a lot, non-existent Bertha. Dear Diary, wouldn't it be ironic if it rained now after decades of building? Now would be the perfect time, since we've just started rationing our supplies more. But I have a good feeling about things. I know I've never seen rain myself, but Grandmother always told me how wonderful it felt. It would be so surreal to be on the ground and see water for miles instead of desert and wasteland. I'm sure it will rain someday. We just need to survive until then. You are very optimistic, Bertha. And you're a very optimistic dead person now. They installed a rope cart on this level to get to the third oh, there tower. It is. I should be able to use it to get across. Squeaky, squeaky. Cranky, cranky. Come on. You know, if we hated each other, why do we make it so easy to access each other? That just seems like counterproductive. Is there anything else up here? A stack of bricks, some more wood. Note. Kyle again. I try to be reasonable. I try to talk with them, but those greedy little scumbags on Tower 1. Isn't that my tower? Didn't want to share their supplies with us. I'm not going to die miles above the ground, drying up like a raisin while other people watch. I'm going over there tonight to take everything I need so I can at least last long enough to watch everyone else die. What a jerk, Kyle. You probably punched a hole in the drywall of your bedroom, too, didn't you? Jerk. Anything else up here? Just a rotating spiral column. Why would you build a spiral column on top of your tower when we're nowhere near the clouds? The screams of finality. Whoa, hold on. Stuck on some geometry. We're good. You'd think you'd just continue with the squareness. Wouldn't you? You'd continue with the squareness? I don't know. I don't build towers except for Sim Tower. That was a good game. Bit of a blast from the past. Old school Windows DOS game there. I miss that game. I think, do I have a copy of it lying around somewhere? I might. I'll have a look. I mean, it's probably available on GOG, too. G-O-G. Dot com. Good old games dot com. Good this site. place beautiful if these dust storms weren't so suffocating. Okay, so it is dust. I wasn't sure if that was, like, dust or snow or... Dandruff of the heathen gods above. I don't know. I hope I find dust. what I'm looking for at the fourth tower. What am I looking for on the fourth tower? Like, I don't think... Was that explicitly stated? Maybe I'm just not paying attention. Yoink. Hadang. I couldn't be more frustrated right now. I could not be more frustrated right now. We're running out of water, running out of building supplies, and Carl with a K just won't get along with me. At least five times a day, he pretends he's going to push me off the tower. I swear, if I do fall someday, it'll be his fault. What's all the K named people being jerks? Carl and Kyle and all your guys, I don't know. Joey, yesterday, dang, dang, son. Yesterday, dang, fell off the tower. Called it, anybody? It was a shame. I don't know how it happened, but it was a sh Oh, I couldn't possibly tell you how Hadang fell off the tower. I, he's a tripsy one that had, Well, he was a tripsy one that Hadang, yeah. Couldn't possibly have been Carl pushing him to the edge every day. Literally and metaphorically. No, it's, that couldn't... I have no idea how it happened. Maybe he tripped on a nail. Especially since he had a key to most of our water chests. Oh yeah, that's a shame. We'll need to break the locked ones open soon since we've almost emptied out the other chest. Okay, first of all, who keeps water in chests? What's up with that, by the way? Oh, that was the, the dang's note. 
I, I, can I go up here? Can I, can I, what's up here? No, I didn't, I just came across the tower. That's, that's what's going on. What's this? Boop. Carl, hey, I just can't get over it. Adan gives the absolute best reactions when I mess with him. For the past week, I've been pretending to get mad and shove my arms at him as if to push him off the tower. I don't think this will ever get old, and I can tell Hadang loves it. Um, you know, Carl, I gotta tell you, you don't have the greatest judge of people's reactions. Uh, I, I feel like your insight check failed pretty hard. Pretty hard. What do we got here? Uh, more, oop, yoink. Stack of planks added to inventory. Bucket of water, stack of planks. Gotcha. What do I need planks for other than build? Oh. Looks like I'll need to fix this bridge. Question answered. Yoink. Oh, it's like a model set without glue. I just gotta like slap the pieces in. Ta da! No stack of. Nope. No it's more stack of planks. It's hard to believe that I'm the last one here. I mean, how do you know you're the last one up here? You I haven't been over here in a while. I never thought it would end like this. Could be having wild parties up at the top of this Makes for you all you know. what the whole point was in the first place. I believe the point was to get water. A note of ambition. Out of everyone on this earth, our families were the only ones who took the water crisis seriously. We were the ones who started building. We were mocked and told we were insane. We were the ones who everyone looked up to when the lakes and rivers dried up. Our blueprints were the ones that were stolen as people became desperate. Our, of everyone on this earth, we are the ones who deserve to survive. The clouds are brimming with liquid life, but ours, but are still so evasive. We've been building for a long time, but we're not done yet. We have farther to go. We will climb the clouds. The sun of Zilkar. Dewey, not. <coughs> Excuse me. Can I just say, Dewey? Very appropriate name for somebody working on building towers to get water out of clouds. Just gonna say, Dewey, this evening, Kevin made a really cheesy speech about how we alone will prevail and how we're the only descendants of the great ones who deserve life. It was honestly the cringiest speech I've ever heard, and that's really saying a lot considering the other stuff he's been saying lately. He also keeps referring to himself in the third person and only responds to us if we call him the son of Zilkar. Yeah, I gotta tell you, this is very noetic. Kind of a reverse. Like, instead of a flood coming to destroy the earth, we got uh, all the water gone. We're trying to go up. Anything else going on here? I got a door with no handle, so that ain't going nowhere. I got a meow meow here. Can I break in with a meow meow? No. Alright, and it's upstairs we go. Not sure what I'm gonna do when I get up there. Hello? I don't have a jump button, so I can't, like, plummet to my doom. Not that that seems like a good option. Yoink. I got a saw. Ooh, and some more planks. Uh, hey. Okay, I can't go that way. I guess I gotta go up here. Hello? Is there anybody ho- Y'all are seeing this too, right? I guess I'm building a staircase. Building as I climb. This one. There we go. Blah 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 blah. Ta da! Oh. This place really is beautiful. In Even a manner of speaking. Storms. I do like how it it's fades away into nothing. Way. I've been working on that tower my whole life and never once stopped to appreciate what we spent our lives building. Towers. We only looked up to the clouds, hoping we'd someday reach them so we could prolong our lives. That everyone's gone. I know any attempt I might make at accomplishing that. Hey, hey. Don't you do it. Rather than spending the rest of my life building a tower, maybe it's time I took a break. Don't you do it. Don't. It's been a long time, but. Don't. I'm finally done. No. Don't. Don't do it. Don't. Don't. Oh. Oh, okay. He's just sitting down. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was going to jump off. I'm like, that was such a dark ending. He just sat down. Oh, it's going to start. Eh, it's start. Called it. Called it. Man, I kind of called it as it was happening, so you might not believe me. But I called it. Thanks for playing. That was cool. I like that. That was that was an interesting little, little short event, little story game. Cloud Climber. I love how Two Star Games has this thing. There's another indie game of theirs. Um... I think it's called My Cousin Raven? I have it downloaded from uh, Game Jolt like a while ago. I haven't gotten around to playing it. I really need to. But they ha he has this way of creating really interesting looks from relatively simple design. 
There are times in My Beautiful Paper Smile, especially when you're looking at, like, vistas, that it's just gorgeous looking, frankly. And there are aspects of this in here, too, the way the light works through the fog and everything. It looks really cool. And, uh, you know, I'm not, I'm not one to try and, like, enforce a, uh, a meta onto somebody else's story, but I do feel like this had a very had a feel for that sort of uh, the, the sort of idea of don't lose track of what you're going through while you're aiming for your goals. Like, don't go through your life so obsessed with one goal that you miss out on all the stuff around you. Like, I kind of feel like that's sort of the thing. Um, but you know, who am I to know exactly? But I think it was pretty cool. So let me know how you think this game went. Let me know what you think of this game in the comments below. If you've got any other games you wanted me to play, go ahead and recommend uh, recommend them down there as well. I highly recommend this game. It's cool. It's free. Again, I'll leave a link in the description to the Steam page where you can download it yourself. Also recommend My Beautiful Paper Smile. Very much looking forward to the fourth episode, I believe final episode. And keep an eye out in Two Star Games for anything else they got coming. They're, they're pretty darn good. Yeah. But you know, I gotta tell you, if you like today's video, you should hit that like button. Yeah. And if you really liked it, you should consider subscribing. And heck, if you're feeling crazy, you should hit that bell icon to get notified of future videos. Yeah. <laughs> but whatever you do, as always, my name is Jonathan. This is Geekish. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.